Drop off. Get yourself back to base camp. I want to see how quickly I can fritter away a competitive redundancy package. This downward spiral ends today. You and me need a plan. I'm starting to look like James. He's going to save himself. Yeah, but Dad doesn't see himself as an addict. He sees himself as a tragic hero of his own sad little play. He won't stop ruining his life because he's having too much fun doing it. So what are we going to do? Because by the time he stops having fun, what will life to go back to? Well, what can we do? It's not like he's a teenager that we can just lock in his room and take away his phone. Although, that would solve our problems. That everything's at the end of an app. That the blokes, that the gambling, the stocks. Oscar Wilde said he could resist everything but temptation itself. And he didn't even have the internet. I think you're right. Well, I know I am, but how does that help us? No, not about your nerdy quote, gay boy. About keeping James away from his phone and his addictions. Jean-Paul, uh, can we just grab your key for James's place, please? Are you sure that's all right? Yes, that's all right. What are you, the groundskeeper? Where's family? Hand over the key. Fine. Thank you. You said it. All we need to do is lock James away from the convenience of his addictions. And what better place in his room? You can't be serious. Look, I'm not suggesting we lock the guy up for his entire adult life. Just a week or two till he gets his addictions under control. I mean, it's doable. His bedroom door locks from the outside. Apart from the fact it's illegal. But also, what's to stop him just booting the door down? Seriously, James, come on. It's not Vin Diesel. You've seen him kick a football. Oh. Mm. Look, um. I'm going to tell you something that happened before. There was a time, a long, long while ago, where I was completely off the rails. I mean, I was addicted to everything under the sun and probably heading for an early grave. But then something happened. I fell pregnant with you. And that was it. Then I knew I had to be done with everything, didn't I? Sorry for the inconvenience. But I, um, I couldn't control myself. So, my flatmate Rita locked me in a room until I could. I mean, she gave me food and water, and that was it. And I begged and pleaded for her to let me out or get me a fix. I was so weak. But she wasn't. And I was in that room for almost a week with no shower. And I tell you now, when she unlocked that door, I walked out cleaner than when I walked in. And nine drug three months later, when I saw your gorgeous little face, I knew that I'd taken that control out of my hands that she gave me the biggest gift of all. What happened to her? She had um, problems with addictions herself, and when things got bad for her, fortunately, I wasn't there to help her in the same way. And that is what we're dealing with with James. You let someone go down far enough, they don't come back up. Well, there must be a way that isn't illegal. I know it sounds crazy, but this could be our last chance to save him. 